And tonight we're learning new information about a teenager killed in Northwest DC. Yeah, police say 16 year old Maurice Jackson was gunned down blocks away from Dunbar High School as he was leaving yesterday. Yeah, the shooting happened at the intersection of P Street and New Jersey Avenue. That's where our Mariel Carbone joins us live tonight. And Mariel, you've been on the ground there all afternoon. Witnesses tell you they're still processing exactly what happened. Yeah, Chris, it's still been a really difficult day for people. I spoke to one neighbor in the area who says he was getting his newborn baby out of the car when he heard the gunfire go off. That shooting happened on this corner. He then saw Jackson run across the street to the other corner where he collapsed. The neighbor went over and tried to help him to no avail. He tells me he is too shaken up to talk to us on camera about all of this, but he did tell me this has been traumatizing for him. Students and city leaders say the same sad because a lot of young kids are getting killed these days. That includes a fellow student here at Dunbar High School. In the community, we're just losing our lives. Rakea Nettles is a sophomore at the school. She says the latest shooting, claiming the life of 16-year-old Maurice Jackson, is yet another reason she's forced to always be vigilant. I just try to like watch my surroundings like my parents always tell me to watch my surroundings. According to police, Jackson was walking near New Jersey Avenue and P Street Northwest when he began talking to a group of people. A suspect pulled out a gun and fired multiple times, hitting and killing the teen. Because my heart sank. At large council member Kenya McDuffie was at the school this morning talking to students and staff. He says Jackson is the second Dunbar student killed this month. It was hard to look some of the young folks in their eyes though and tell them it's going to be okay because the reality is they are dealing with that trauma. McDuffie says the city is failing to keep kids safe. And just 24 hours before Jackson was killed, another teen, Jamal Jones, was shot and killed in Southeast. And we have to do everything humanly possible to change that. It's just so sad. I just like people should just like stop like murdering people and like especially teens and kids these days. Now this intersection, it is very busy with students from both Kip and Dunbar walking home from school. Uh, Chris and Fasmin, we actually know that a DC police or a DC public schools police officer was out here patrolling during the after school hours uh, because of yesterday's shooting. Reporting live in Northwest DC, I'm Marielle Carbone, DC News Now.